it's St. Patrick's Day, and we're gonna celebrate with an Irish coffee. Apparently, this isn't the way you're supposed to make it. In the past, I posted a video on my Instagram of an Irish coffee and got absolutely lit up by some of my friends that are truly Irish, telling me that everything about that drink was wrong. So today I wanna address some of those issues. Now I realize most of my audience is American and most of you are gonna make your Irish coffee the same way that I did for 15 or so years. For almost 30 years, my family owned an Irish pub in Marina Del Rey, California called Brennan's Irish Pub. Many of those years on St. Patrick's Day, thousands of people swarmed into that bar and they were absolutely overwhelmed. So they always called in some extra bartenders, probably slanged four to 500 Irish coffees. And the way that I made it is probably the way that most of you make it at home. Quick and easy, right? A sugar cube, a healthy dash of the cheapest Irish whiskey you could find, probably a little bit more than you should, some super strong coffee, whatever you got, and some whipped cream right out of the canister that you got from the local grocery store. But I'm here to tell you that that is all wrong. With the help of my friend, I am Sam Lynch, and he says, and I quote, Sam is an Irishman, and he cannot deal with not pointing out how wrong this is. First, use a sugar syrup made of brown sugar, not a sugar cube. Good coffee is key. The true trick is having enough syrup so that the density of the coffee and the whiskey mixture is thicker than the cream. Pour the cold, unwhipped cream on top using the back of a bar spoon to ensure that it doesn't pour too quickly. Do not whip your cream in a cocktail shaker. It is a rule. A true Irish coffee has little to no air in it and is a really dense, heavy cream with a high fat content. Hope this helps. Sam, it helped very much. Thank you, sir. So you thought you could get away with just the white sugar cube and some cheap Irish whiskey. Not so much. Now there are a few ways that you can go about doing this. Let's talk about some of the sugar. You could choose a demerara sugar and make a thick demerara syrup, leave some granules at the bottom. That's a good option, not the correct one. Now most bars only have simple syrup. You could use that, but as our friend Sam says, that's not the right way either. Hey guys, let's be honest. The original recipe for the Irish coffee is pretty vague. Cream as rich as an Irish brogue. Coffee as strong as a friendly hand. Sugar, sweet as the tongue of a rogue. And whiskey, smooth as the wit of the land. That is the original recipe for an Irish coffee. But with all of my research and all of my hate comments that I keep getting, this is the best way that I learned how to do it. But before I can do that, let's make some coffee. <laughs> You don't want to put a hot beverage into a cold glass or a room temperature glass and immediately drop the temperature. You want to keep it hot as long as possible. It's only going to take about 10 seconds and we're done. The sugar that I've been told to use by 318 English Irishmen. Did you understand a single word of what you just said? <laughs> <laughs> is a rich brown simple syrup. You're going to want to use half ounce, three quarter ounce at the most. A good strong whiskey, ounce and a half, is something that's gonna really hold up to the coffee. I'm using Powers, it's nice and strong, and then fill it with your coffee. You wanna use a really strong coffee, and check it out, Sam. I have even got very, very, very cold, heavy whipping cream. So take your spoon, pour it over the back of your spoon, create a layer right on top. Trying to layer the cream on the top of an Irish coffee can be extremely frustrating. If you're trying to make your bar version of this, let me show you a trick. Take the spring off the front of your Hawthorne strainer. Take your mixing tin, drop it right in. Add your cream. Shake it for no more than five seconds. Take the back of your bar spoon, layer it right on top.
Now I know there's a lot of people out there that are not gonna agree with this method. Just drop me a comment, let me know you're still my friend. And that, my friends, is your Irish coffee. One bonus cocktail for everyone that stuck around to see the end of the video. If you like your coffee cold or you really like cold brew, try the iced Irish coffee. Welcome back, friends. It's Anders. I'll put the link down in the description. It is an absolutely amazing variation, and I think you'll like it. In our last video, we announced that we we're gonna give away this Flair Bartender's Kit to one of our subscribers that drops the best comment. That winner is John Nicely. We also noticed that not everyone that watches these videos on this channel is actually subscribed. So if you could drop us a subscribe, we're only 200 subscribers away from pulling ahead of Aviation American Gin. It only seems fair after they stole our set design. You'll never see it coming. That we outperform them in subscribers. So guys, make sure that you hit the subscribe button, double bump that bell. Make sure you're notified every single time that we drop another cocktail video on this channel for some tips and tricks for you to succeed behind the bar. And guys, don't forget, good drinks take time. Enjoy the show.